Happy Monday, everybody. Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. Uh, I just wanted to do a video, a live stream to share with you all some of the latest Facebook updates because I know a lot of people are freaking out. They think that the sky is falling um, because of the new changes. So I'm just going to wait until a few people um, tune in. I'm also just going to share this um, into our groups as well just to make sure that everyone's aware that we're live and what this means for you and your business because... It is uh, it is like a little bit at the moment, like people running around screaming that the sky is falling and getting stressed out. So um, I want to go through a few things just to give you some clarity, some understanding and an update um, so that you don't think the sky is falling. Uh, so whilst everyone's tuning in, I'll just uh, quickly share these across. And if you have any questions, if you've seen this and you're aware of what I'm talking about, just comment down below. Otherwise, I'll explain everything uh, to you very, very shortly um, as we go through. So as you're tuning in, I know there's a few people jumping on. Um, just let me know if you do have any questions and you've and you've heard anything so far um, whilst I share this into a few of our um, groups and make sure everyone is aware of what's happening because it is a big change that's coming through. So for anyone that hasn't seen already, um, it's something that Mark Zuckerberg did a post about uh, last week sharing with everyone about some of the changes that's happening um, in Facebook, in the news feeds, all these things. So I'm just going to, as I said, I'm just sharing some of these, so not being rude and looking away. But if you do have any comments already, throw them in. If you already know what I'm talking about, um, please comment, let me know. Um, and I'll, uh, as I'm sharing these around, uh, and the last one is, there we go. So if you've seen the post and um, what Mark Zuckerberg is talking about, um, I will uh, do my best to try and keep my eye on the questions here as they come through as well. Um, I'll just open this up. So Mark Zuckerberg did a post saying that he's looking at all of the Facebook news feed, the interaction, everything that's happening, and saying that there needs to be a change. So what he said, he noticed is that what you'll see, if you're scrolling through your news feed, you'll start to notice that there's so many people that you actually, uh, sorry, businesses, this is business pages, so many business pages that maybe one time you liked, and you're just seeing all this stuff in your news feed that's not actually directly relevant to you or what you care about. Maybe one time you liked it, um, or ages ago there was a competition and you liked a page or you went to a restaurant and you don't actually care for it anymore. You don't actually really um, understand what they're doing. You don't care about what they're doing and it's just taking up news feed space. So what Facebook is doing is they are actually now wiping their hands of it. They're going, cool, if you don't interact with a page, we're killing the organic reach, if you will. We're, we're not just gonna start putting it out in front of people. We are getting rid of that. We're making it only so that, and there's two factors that they talked about. Any people that highly engage or people that leave lengthy comments and have a bit of back and forth with a page will continue to see it, but otherwise, we're clearing that space. We're saying, no, you're not just gonna get your news feed flooded anymore. We're not just gonna have consistently um, all these random things going in there because they care about one thing, and that's you. They care about um, the person scrolling through Facebook. They care about the person that's watching, seeing, reading. That's what they care about. And they want to make sure that it's the absolute best experience for you. And people have started to say that, well, actually, you know, this is not the best experience. I'm just getting bombarded with crap. And so they said, okay, cool. We're going to cut the organic reach down. Now, there's a few factors that you need to think about here. Number one is that if you're consistently doing good content, it's not going to affect you, apart from people that don't care about you. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a million person page, if your content's not good and only 10 people see it, that's just a sign for you to do a better job. So that's what they're really focusing on now. It's not saying that we're gonna take away all the people that engage with your stuff and all the hard work that you've done to build up um, to build up your page. That's not what they're saying. What they're saying is that anyone that's not an engager, hey Valerie, hope you're doing well. If you're enjoying what you're hearing and you have other people that have Facebook business pages, just make sure you share this live stream as I go through and explain what this means for you going forward. Um, so all of you that are on here, say hi, share across if you can. Bruce, if you're watching, uh, sorry, I just saw your, uh, your message pop up, so I can't message you just yet. After the live, I will uh, message you back promise. Um, hey guys, hey Darlene, Nathan, Najee, Bruce, Mel, Joss, uh, make sure you share guys, the sky is falling, um, <laughs> make sure that you share, 
click share down below and share this out with other people. So like I was saying, guys, a lot of people were getting stressed out, freaking out. Last week, I think I had at least four or five people jumping on and telling me, Kim, I'm worried about this. Kim, my people, my, uh, my clients are worried about this, worried about that. Ultimately, you just need to make sure you consistently do a good job and consistently put out great content. Hey, Joss, yeah, run, run for cover. Put your head in the sand, guys, because the, the sky is falling. Protect your head. Um, but ultimately, what it means is that you need to do better at creating good content. You need to have a focus on putting out great quality stuff. You know, the biggest thing that I would recommend if you're not doing it as a business already is doing live streams just like this, taking your quality of video production to the next level, really helping people. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there good quality production, helping people out in their business, looking at, you know, what the problems are that they have and helping them solve them, looking at your video content production and how you can um, upskill that and increase it. You know, we just made an investment in this is an Osmo um, gimbal. We'll be recording a lot of our content and vlogs and whatnot on there too. So, you know, it just means it's time to up the game. So, you know, if you've had problems already, hey, Scotty, hey, Mel, um, if you've been having problems already with your reach, it means you need to improve the way that you put content forward. You know, we've been saying, for, I've been saying for years, it's like you do need to put content out. You do need to provide value. You can't just always just run ads. Um, but, you know, you need to actually give value. And if you have had bad reach before, that's probably why. Um, not too much. Hope you hope you are... Uh, Hope you uh, got a few holes in ones yesterday, Scotty, on the golf course. Hope you had uh, fun there. Uh, but yeah, you need to make sure, hey, Adelina, that you're providing value, that you're doing good stuff because the reach is going to go down and it's going to continue to go. So it just means that you need to pay more attention to how you service your clients, how you service your prospective clients and the value that you add to them. I'm not saying that you go and you wipe your hands completely of a Facebook page. That's completely not, um, not, the, uh, not the point of this. Hey, Eric. The point of this is that you need to ensure that what you're doing is good and high quality. So all the people that, hey, Adelina, that have been doing terribly at what they've been doing and they've been getting reach and getting in front of people um, is going to drop off. If you want a really good example of someone lately who's been doing a tremendous job, have a look at Qantas. Um, so for all my Australian friends, they'll know Qantas. For um, international people, it's a, a, one of the biggest airlines, or it is the biggest uh, Australian airline, I believe. And they've been doing now, they've been doing hotspot videos of locations. So this, like, for example, Perth, they go in and they film a bar and a restaurant that's a special place. Um, they've, and they've been, or they've been taking these videos from other people. And then they're promoting them on their page. And they're getting tremendous amounts of engagement. They're getting tremendous amounts of likes, comments, and shares because it's good content. Like I saw one about a hidden gin bar in um, uh, Sydney, I think it was, through a tailor shop. There's a dumpling bar and stuff like that in the back. And for me, that was really interesting and really intriguing. And I said, well, cool. This is something I tagged people in, shared it. They didn't ask for that, but they put good content and that made me engage with their page and I'm subliminally getting hit with Qantas all the time, right? So it makes it more interesting for me to then look at their stuff and go, wow, well, if I next time I go to book a flight, maybe I'm going to think of Qantas. So if you want to look at the value and content production that people are using, check them out um, 100%. Now, the second thing to remember is that um, Facebook have already been rolling these changes out for a little while, right? This has already been happening. So this is not new. This is not uh, something absolutely new that started to happen. This has been happening for months and months and months. And one of the other most recent updates is basically, um, two uh, again, two parts. One is clickbaiting people, which is, you know, like giving them uh, <laughs> uh, crazy, interesting headlines to get them to click through. And the second is engagement baiting. Um, I don't know if that's the word, but that's the word I'll use for it, where they're saying, hey, like this, comment this, share this. And if you're telling people to do that, again, it's um, engagement baiting. Facebook says, well, actually, people uh, have their own, their own, of their own free will, can choose what they want to do. Right? They can choose if they want to share, comment, or like it. So they're actually um, diminishing the reach from posts that are engagement baiting. They're also diminishing and almost shutting down click baiting. Hey, mean, um, so they're actually taking a lot of these things away. So 
what that means is that you need to have something that is so engaging that people want to comment, share, tag their friends in it. They want to do these things without you having to pressure it. So if that's overwhelming or stressful for you, it just means that you need to up your game. You need to learn. You need to um, start to diversify your content, do lives, up, up your video content, all this sort of stuff to take it to the next level. Now, um, a lot of people ask me, though, with engagement baiting, does that mean that I can't use Facebook Messenger bots? Does that mean that Messenger bots are unavailable to me because um, one way to get someone into a Messenger bot is to comment, and that's where then automatically they'll get a Facebook message. Facebook have confirmed that that is not the case. So if you utilize a bot and you ask people to comment, um, whilst obviously that's uh, uh, engagement bait, if you will, it's purely to get them into um, a Messenger service. So you're doing that, that's absolutely fine. No stress or anything like that when it comes to um, utilizing bots. So that's 100% cool. Um, you can roll that out too. But it also means that you probably should be looking at how do you get people into Messenger utilizing bots. Um, you know, Facebook groups are an interesting one. I don't think that they're necessarily a replacement. Um, I do like them if you're good. Hey, Eric. Um, uh, Valerie's ask how to learn. Um, what do you want? What specifically do you want to uh, learn, Valerie? Let me know, and I'll be able to guide you into where you should learn that from. Um, I lost my train of thought slightly there, uh, but so you need to make sure you're looking at these other areas and aspects of engaging with people, not purely just from the page. So we're um, heavily looking toward our messenger, really bringing up our messenger, really starting to scale up how we utilize messenger. And, uh, and bring clients in from there. Obviously our email list as well, uh, making sure that we have a consistent focus on bringing um, leads out from Facebook to our email list where we do have that connection. Uh, Valerie says, okay. Yeah, just comment Valerie if you want, um, what you wanna learn about and I'll, uh, I'll be able to give you some direction of what to learn. Uh, but yeah, just comment that up and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. So whilst the sky is, everyone's yelling that the sky is falling and people are getting stressed and pulling their hair out and things like that, this is not a time for you to be worried. This is a time for you to be able to up your game because all the people that have been spamming, pretending, putting out terrible um, content are going to drop away and just leave room for high level to come through. So if you think about now, if you're doing an ad on Facebook, think about how you, how you, you would run if you were doing a television ad. Right, you need to take that little level of production thought process to it to really stand out from the crowd, and then everyone flows through from there and thinks, well, what does that mean for advertising? Does that mean that my ads are going to get um, less reach? Does that mean that my ads aren't going to be as engaged anymore? Does that mean, you know, what does that mean? And they're pulling their hair out there. Um, and this is just purely from um, a good friend of mine, uh, Adam Linknoga, YouTube expert. Um, social media expert really but he, he specializes in YouTube um, he mentioned that you know with all this stuff being taken off it does open up more room for Facebook for advertising because I think it was from uh, like between July and September last year Facebook has had a full inventory of ads so that every placement that you can think of has been full they've they've had that completely filled up no one else was, uh, not no one else, but um, that there was completely filled. So it just means that the price has started to rise. So for them to make more money, to get more ads out, you know, they want to open up more inventory. So that's, again, by filtering out all the nonsense that you see in your news feed, it does leave them more opportunities, does give them more gaps for advertising um, as, as well. And you know they'll, you'll start to see that across everywhere. You're seeing more messenger ads. You're seeing ads in other places which are coming from Facebook and the opportunity that they're giving there. So you really need to take that thought process now and go, well, go look at your page. If you're a business owner watching this, go and look at your page. Look at your engagement. What do your people like? Do they like live streams like this? Do they like video? Do they like nicely written content? Because everyone will respond differently. And then go to town on creating high quality stuff based on that. Because I could tell you to do live video, but your audience might not like it. Most people these days like video, but I would never assume that everyone does. So you need to go and look at it. Um, 
you need to go and look at it and then create from there. So Valerie said, I can't do links. I need to do a new Facebook page about gut cleanse program where I can have files. Would it need to be a group? Uh, if you want to give people downloads and things like that, a, a group is a good place to do that because you can host them in there. If it's um, whether it's a free or a paid group or whatever it might be, um, that's a good um, place to do it because you can upload photos, files, all that sort of stuff in a group. And you can link it back to your page as well um, so that anyone that visits your page can then go from there. So yes, I um, highly recommend it if you do want to do um, links and things like that and you want to provide people with downloads or anything. Facebook group is a good way or get them to opt in and give them uh, give you their email and then obviously you can send it in email as well. Two different options. Um, I like to do both so that I can build a group but then I also have the option to capture email so it's off the Facebook platform in case any other changes come through. So uh, if there's no other questions guys, I just really wanted to get on and um, provide you guys with some value and insights because I know a lot of people are screaming, hey Adam, that the, uh, the sky is falling about these new Facebook page changes updates, but it's not that bad. Um, it just means that we all need to get better. And, you know, it's a cull, the 10% of people that are bad at what they do or not providing value or just doing um, click baiting stuff, just baiting people, um, engagement baiting will drop off. And that's not a bad thing. It just means that everyone else needs to up their game, their skill level, your skill level needs to go up when it comes to what you put out, uh, providing better value and better uh, creative, if you will, being your ads, your images, um, your videos, anything that goes on or through your page. So that's my recommendation. If you um, have any other questions based on this, guys, just comment down below. Um, I will wrap this live stream up here. I hope that you've got a uh, value from it and you understand what these changes now mean for you in your business and um, not to stress. Because you know Facebook make changes, they're always for the better. We may not like it straight away. Um, hey, Adam, we may not like it straight away, but you know it, it is what it is, and we've got to be able to roll with the punches and adapt, adapt from there. So uh, I think my battery's about to die. Hey, Nicole, just so you jump on, so I will finish this before it uh, dies and cuts out. Hope you're all doing super well. If you have any questions in relation to these changes, comment down below, and I'll either send you a link for information, or I'll try and answer it for you as well. So other than that, I'll see you, all, uh, see you guys all later and hope you're having a tremendous Monday. Adios.